by Shai Franklin, a partner with the lobbying firm Gotham Government Relations, to unpack all of this. Hi there, Shai. So uh, today was the first step in this bill getting the final approval, and it was very close, that vote. Do you see this going all the way? It will go all the way if Prime Minister Netanyahu decides to push it through all the way. Uh, this is, you know, one step closer to the brink. Uh, he has the votes. He's demonstrated that he has the votes. And uh, yeah, it uh, it will go. He is hoping to get some kind of concession from the opposition. Maybe he's hoping that the uh, some of the Supreme Court will somehow blink, or there will be some effort to broker some some kind of an agreement where he can get what he wants without significantly uh, altering the way that Israeli democracy is is set up. And what he wants is the ability to bring in ministers who may be under uh, suspicion or under criminal conviction, uh, and uh, and also to be able to not be second guessed by any other body uh, when he moves forward with basic what would be considered an unreasonable law uh, by uh, by any standard. Uh, protesters say that these changes to the judiciary are undemocratic; that they are forcing a democracy to backslide in Israel. Are they? Yes. The, First of all, there's the fallacy that somehow if you have a majority of the votes, then that entitles you to act in the name of democracy to make it impossible for you to be voted out in the future. Uh, if if this were to go through, then Netanyahu would be able to, in the Knesset, under his uh, majority, would be able to uh, change the law so that the opposition party perhaps could not get on the airwaves, could not get on on the internet could not protest what he's doing. They could be arrested. Uh, and then that's not really a democracy. Majority rule is not necessarily democracy. And given the proportional representation system that Israel has, having 61 votes in the Knesset, a majority of 100 and, out of the 120, is not identical to the majority of the Israeli people. And, and this is something which really uh, would change the character of Israeli democracy. And uh, most people, Many people in Israel, we see a million or two out on the streets, and people around the world, uh, including some Republicans here in, in the United States, would see that that is, uh, th that is a significant step that requires more than a, a, a very small majority, a very narrow majority in the Knesset. It's going to be interesting to see how, if this does uh, end up going all the way. Shai Franklin, thank you so thank much you. for your analysis there.